let's discuss what's wrong with Adobe and their little user agreement. Uh, this is actually common to Microsoft and several other providers of cloud storage, uh, just AI, all of it. But it came to prominence with Adobe updating their terms of service to be extremely broad in terms of what rights you grant them. <clears throat> and it, it also is different from other services like Facebook or TikTok or any of the other social networks because on a social network you actively choose to upload media to that site to share with other people. But if you're using the Adobe software to do any kind of work, you're probably not intending for it to be shared with anybody other than who you pick. Um, most Adobe stuff is actually meant to be used for professional work. So because of that, a lot of things that are worked with in the Adobe suite <clears throat> or any, any professional software, it doesn't just mean Adobe, any professional software, you're probably doing professional work, which means you're probably doing it for other people, which means you're probably under restrictive agreements. This is the premise under which my previous video was shot, is that you are being asked to grant all these rights automatically to things that you are not publicly sharing to a social media site and that you probably don't even have the rights to assign in the first place. It's being done for you, not only that, but it's being done for you automatically um, to everything and you have to uh, accept this new agreement or they'll just cut you off from the software that you spent money on, you paid for, you purchased and you agreed to use under the previous agreement. This whole thing where you can email a new license agreement and it takes legal force needs to die. It needs to die a massive death. You should not be able to email and go, oh, by the way, we're altering the deal. Pray we don't alter it any further. That kind of stuff is just completely unfair. If you make an agreement, they shouldn't be able to just change the agreement. They shouldn't be able to pull your ability to use the software. Rather, you should be locked to whatever it is that was active at the time that you made the agreement with them. And you know what? If you want to use the new features, you, uh, you adhere to the new agreement. But otherwise, uh, you're stuck on the old one. And that's, that's fine, because at least then you're not being forced to agree just to use your software. And you're not being forced to upgrade, thus agreeing. <clears throat> but here's where we're going. The problem with the way that these agreements are worded, and, and this is a problem with the social networks too, but it's a much bigger problem with things that process your private data, like uh, OneDrive or Dropbox or whatever. They don't word the agreements in a lot of cases to be sufficiently narrow. Let me give you an example. The problem that people had with the Adobe agreement that led to massive backlash is that the agreement says you grant them a perpetual, which means never expires, royalty free, which means they never have to pay you for it, license, which means you hold the rights, presumably, to the media, but that you are giving them the ability to use it to, to some or all extent as if they own it themselves, a perpetual royalty free license that is unlimited, which means they can do whatever they want with it. So never expires. You don't ever get paid for it. They can do anything they want with it to media that you're working with. Now, they could have worded this differently. And this is the, the main point I'm trying to hammer home right now. They could have worded this very differently to make it sufficiently narrow in this way. You give us the right to take your media, bring it to our servers or whatever, process the media, and send derivative media back to you. Because their excuse is, well, we can't show you thumbnails and stuff if we don't have these rights. Well, for thumbnails, all you need is to be able to convert um, my video into a small graphic and show me the graphic. So your agreement should say that you want me to agree to give you the rights to take my media, reprocess it, and then only show the reprocessed part of that media to me. 
that's narrowly tailored. That is sufficient to do the stuff that they said they were going to do. But the truth is, that's not what they're going to do. It is. N they said that this is standard for cloud providers for over a decade. Why are you complaining, bro? Ha ha ha! It, it's it's standard practices. Standard practices means that they're not abusive, uh, 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 right? Except they are. The, the fact that they have just assigned themselves a 100% unlimited free license to do anything they want with your stuff, that is not something that any sane person would ever agree to. But it's especially something that a person running a business or performing work for hire cannot legally, and not as in the law, but as in they don't have the rights to do it in the first place, cannot legally agree to. So if you agree to this just as a blanket condition of using the Adobe software, but then Adobe, Adobe siphons up your client's stuff and, and reuses it in their own material, you've got a major problem because you probably had agreements not to share that media. But the software has helpfully shared it for you. And oh, you agreed to that. You agreed to give us a license. <clears throat> Except you didn't agree to give them a license for that media. You gave this giant blanket agreement to give them full access to everything and do whatever they wanted with it. But you didn't have the right to do that. Now, you, a professional performing a job for someone, are in a very bad legal position. Because now you can be sued by the people that you did the work for. The second they see that crap that you were doing for them come up in some AI thing somewhere that Adobe did, now they're going to be like, wait a minute. That wasn't supposed to happen. What did you do? And they're going to figure out, one way or the other, that it happened because you processed your stuff through the Adobe software suite, which siphoned up their data and added it to an AI model. They're going to figure that out, and they're going to sue the balls off of you and put you out of business. They're going to put you in debt. They're going to make you destitute because you made a major, major mistake violated the agreements that you had with them not to share their stuff. And even if it's not a formal thing, how's it going to be if you're doing, let's say, a smaller graphic design job for $1,000, you know, nothing too huge, just make, make you know, help rebrand a small business or something. 1000 bucks, rebrand, blah, blah, blah. And you do it with the Adobe Suite, and then they find that their branding that you came up with is coming up in other things and they chase it down like why are you using our branding our designs why is our design coming up in your stuff oh well i used adobe's helpful ai tool to do it and this is the thing adobe can just back this just, just look, oh no we not look here's here's click wrap agreement we have we, it's a solid click wrap agreement they they agreed to this you agreed to this you know, we can make a human sentai pad out of you and your friends by cutting your mouths off and sewing them to other people's butts. You, you agree to this. It's totally fine. It's, it's all above board and legal, bro. It's totally fine. You agreed to it, right? You agreed to this. So, because you agreed to this, you can't do anything about it. Well, <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to sue Adobe? Probably not. So, What's going to happen? You're the designer, and as the designer, it's your responsibility when you're doing this work to not leak the stuff. But you leaked the stuff. You leaked the stuff, and now you're in trouble because you did it. And they're not going to go after Adobe. They're going to go after you because in the end, Adobe you, Adobe doesn't know. Adobe's agreement, you know, it, Adobe's agreement is solid. How do they know? They don't have any idea. They have no clue. Everything is fine. You have no idea, you know, <laughs> you're, you're screwed, blued, and tattooed, brother. Um, they're going to get you, and you're just going to have to deal with it. Sorry. <laughs> Try again later. All right. So here's the deal. I thought, I, I, I'm using a camera I don't normally use. I apparently didn't hit the record button properly or something, and the thing retracted. I don't know if it recorded or not because it doesn't have a flip screen. So I'm going to assume it didn't release this as sort of a podcast format, and I, I hope that it's been informative. But unfortunately, um, I have to stop because I lost my train of thought when I realized the camera had failed for whatever reason. If there's video, you'll see it. If there's not, I hope that whatever dumb thing I put up was fun. But the bottom line is that they could have tailored their agreement to match what it is that 
your, you know, the services that they offer to you that it could have been narrowly tailored to say that they don't grant themselves more rights than are absolutely necessary to reprocess your stuff and shuffle it back to you. They chose not to do that. They deserve every ounce of throttling that they get by the community. It this everything that they get is deserved. If you use any software, be it Microsoft's OneDrive and Recall, Copilot, whatever, um, Adobe Suite, um, Dropbox, Google Drive, any software where in the license agreement it says you grant them any sort of license to do anything with your stuff other than basically reprocess it enough to send back to you and not for any other purpose, you can't. You can't do that. It is not illegal as in violating a statute, but it is illegal in that you now can't use that software without leaking your client information and giving licenses you don't have the right to. And you could end up in court and drained until you're toast. So you cannot legally use these programs. Watch those terms of service. Go through them with a fine tooth comb. But really, the main thing you need to do is just look for the section <clears throat> in the terms of service for whatever, anything you use, be it a social media website or whatever, anywhere that the data goes, and make sure the terms of service do not grant the service provider the ability to have any sort of license to your stuff to do anything other than maybe, maybe, show your own stuff to you or show it to someone that you specifically designate, you get the idea. Anything that just grants itself this perpetual, unfettered license to do whatever they want, you should never use. I don't care if Adobe says that it's only for their cloud service, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that it's only for their cloud service because the agreement doesn't say that. It, that's like saying, here, sign this contract that says I own everything you have. And then when you come back and go, well, what about that? I don't understand. Why, um, why would I sign over everything you have? Like, oh, don't worry, bro. Don't worry about that. I'm not going to take everything you have. This is just so that you, you can, um, I can come over and borrow CDs from you um, or rip CDs and put them on your phone for you so you don't have to repurchase the music. Now, I'm not gonna take everything from you. And the problem is maybe they don't, but they could legally take everything from you. Even though they're not doing it now, it doesn't mean they can't. Now you've just signed over those rights. Be careful out there. Thanks for listening. God, I wish it was watching, but it's not. Thanks, cameras. Next time I'll pack a real camera. Have a good one. So that's where we're going with this, with this agreement. Oh shit, it retracted. Shit, it's not been a recording this whole time, has it? Fuck. Great, I took a picture. <sighs> now you're recording, right? Uh, you should be recording, you bastard. Okay, try that again. Oh, you son of a bitch. That fucking camera. It's not recording. Oh, fuck.